It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion, let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Hello, I'm just popping out for a pizza and wondered if you lot would like to come along too. Too right, I would. Oh dear, I almost forgot. You lot aren't allowed out. I'd love to go out. No yearning without learning. Until you've learnt your maths. You lot, stay here. And you can stay out of here. Whoa, hello. Oof. Do you know who I am today? I'm Angle Man, because I've got my angle bangle. If ever I'm called upon to estimate an angle fast, I'm always ready with my angle bangle with its built-in protractor. All I have to do is line it up and make sure that my angle bangle is centred where the lines meet. There we are, and that's... 50 degrees, yes, a very good estimate. Now, there will be no one estimating angles faster than me, Angle Man, and my Angle Bangle. Woohoo! Angle Man, Angle Man, measuring angles faster than any human can. Angle Man, Angle Man. He's such a quick reactor, watch him whip out his protractor All part of his cunning angle bangle plan He can find out just how many degrees Are in the angle of an elephant's knees And antler angles on a moose Might be acute, might be obtuse Angle man, angle man Measuring angles than any human can Angle Man, Angle Man He's such a quick reactor Watch him whip out his protractor All part of his cunning Angle Bangle Angle Man Angle Man Quiet! It's Sad Man, not Angle Man You'd like to be Angle Man, wouldn't you? Don't be so ridiculous And tell us your names Robin Peters from North London. Nico Jakes from South London. Right, we're looking at angles. Can you spot acute angles? Angles that are less than a right angle. And obtuse angles. Angles that are more than a right angle. Sort them out. That's acute. Yes, 60 degrees. That one's obtuse. Yes, 120 degrees. That one's a right angle. Yes, 90 degrees. That's obtuse. Yes, 150 degrees. And that's acute. Yes, it's 30 degrees. Well, you seem to be able to sort out angles, but can you measure them properly? Sounds like a job for Angle Man. Enough! Get out of my program! Angle Man! No, seriously, of course it's just me. But I do have my angle bangle on. And it's not just good for long range work, it's good for close up work too. I can measure an angle with considerable accuracy. And this is how it's done. First of all, check if the angle is acute or obtuse. Now I'd say this one's acute and about 80 degrees, but we shall see. Now, put the centre point of the zero line where the two arms of the angle meet. And that's where they meet, down there. And put the zero line along one arm, which is what I've done. Now, all you need to do is read round from where it says zero to where the other arm 
crosses the scale. It's 70 degrees. And it's all thanks to my protractor on my cunning angle bangle. Angle man, angle man. After estimating what the angle is, put the centre point where the two arms meet and the zero line along one arm. Now you're ready to find the angle. Read round from where it says zero to where the other arm is on the scale. Then you read what the angle is with your strap-on angle bangle. Oh, excuse me, madam. Could you help me with my obtuse angles, please? Possibly. Oh, well. Could you hold your arms up to make an obtuse angle for me? Oh, very good. Now, how big an angle? Oh, no, keep it there, madam. Keep it there, if you can. Now, what would you say? Oh, I like that bit there. How big an angle would you say that is? Um, about 90. 90 uh, degrees. 80 to 90. 80 to 90. Well, it wouldn't be obtuse if it was that. Madam I'd say uh, about 100, madam. About 100. <laughs> OK. Now, let's hold up the protractor. OK, I think the midpoint's about there. That's where your arms would meet. Yeah. OK. And we measure it round. We need to make that zero. Oh, that's very... You're holding it for me. I could just walk away, madam, but I won't. Yeah, OK, let's okay. measure it. OK, all the way around here. So, 155. Gloriously obtuse, madam. I am obtuse by nature. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, be careful who you meet. Thank you very much. Good day to you. Mm, get ready for the test, cos the test is ready for you. OK, angles coming at you. Are they acute or obtuse? Estimate how many degrees they are and then measure them. It's acute. About 60 degrees. Protractor ready, lining up along one arm and centering. Reading round from zero, it's 75 degrees. Yes, and not a bad estimate. Next. It's a choose. About 120 degrees. Um, line it up along one arm, line up centre point, measure round from zero. That's 130 degrees. One last angle. Hurry up. Where's the other line? What other line? The line to make it an angle. The angle's there. Oh, it. I'm sorry, but you're too late. It's a straight line, an angle of 180 degrees. It's a bit late telling me now. It's 180 degrees that way, and it's also 180 degrees that way. You had two ways of getting it right. Never mind, you don't get your maths card. So, no angle man card for you. That's because you wanted it for yourself. Rubbish! Be off with you. Go and hug your teddies. And you can look for angles too on the keyboard of your computer. Which capital letter has five angles in it? Three acute and two obtuse. And what are the three other letters with obtuse angles? And remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> All right, then. Angle Mole, Angle Mole. Finding angles wherever he looks from his Angle Mole hole. Ah. 